Hey you guys, so I've actually honestly in the last week or so I've been debating whether I was going to continue to record weekly vlogs. Um, it's something I've been thinking about. Not that my channel will turn completely into a planner budgeting channel. I would still have vlogs up. I would still put them up um, randomly throughout the week, but it won't be like a weekly vlog like I have right now dedicated. Like every Wednesday, I upload a weekly vlog. Um, and part of that is I feel like my life is so uninteresting that there's not a whole lot to vlog about and it would be better spent I don't know I mean like my pre-planning in my planner is good uh, next year I'm for sure gonna have one planner part of me was like maybe you should do a memory keeping one I don't know technically they all turn into memory keeping if you like document like major things you know what I mean um because there are some days where I don't vlog at all there's some days some days where I have a lot to say some days my vlog is just you know uh, just the few minute drive from my house to my physical therapy for the day and I feel like that it's a waste of your guys' time. Um, I don't, you know, I have cool places in my city that I go to. I don't do cool things. Um, just an everyday mom kind of thing. Um, I can do updates on my Snapchat. Instagram, um, you know, on my IG stories, that'll, you know, and th th then that will be like more um, current, you know, or my Snapchat will be more current. Um, I don't think going for a walk today is going to happen unless it calms down. Like, I don't mind walking in a sprinkle or like a light rain, but this heavy, no. But uh, I'm actually on my way to my mom's. I just got a call, well, just got a text message from my sister a few minutes ago that my mom did not have her work schedule, and she has to work today. And I'm like, why didn't you call me sooner? Like, you know, I'm 40 minutes away from mom's house. And on top of that, she's not working at her normal store because right now she's working between two stores to help cover hours. She's working at the farther store. I said, okay, well, it'll take me like 50 minutes-ish to get to the other store. Um, and she's like, well, I'll just tell them that I can't, I can't. come in on time, then I'll be late. I said, okay. She goes, well, I'll tell them 9.30, which is half an hour past when she's supposed to be there. I said, okay. I literally, I was in such a rush to get dressed to drive to my mother's that I further ripped the distressed bowl in my jeans. Um, it's not a pretty rip. And like these ones are my comfortable distressed jeans. And like they're the jeans that I got for my friend last year. Um, my hand-me-downs, which I love because they're so comfortable. And they just like, like, you know, when you first put them on, they're a little snug, but as soon as you button them, they like fit you and they like look good on you. So I'm like, oh, especially like rushing out this early. Yeah. I'm like, okay, well. I was not planning on driving to my mom's this week so I could save on gas because going to Oregon uh, was an unexpected expense, which is fine. That's what my checking cushion is for. And like, in my mind, like, I'm so paranoid about my checking cushion. 
position being the right amount of money that like I'm like okay you know what can I sell what what can I cut back on so that I have the right amount in my checking account but it's like okay I just need to oh 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 I just watched a semi truck cut off a semi truck oh oh that was stressful for me oh my oh my lord If I'm a good budgeter, I shouldn't still be having all these unbudgeted expenses. If you watch my December monthly wrap up, there's a lot of unbudgeted. And part of that is like, well, do I consider it that? Do I consider it that? And it's like, okay, well, even if I consider it these things, it's still unbudgeted. And I was dipping into my savings um, to be able to pay for these things that I needed. And then after making the purchases, I finally got the money back on a couple returns that I did previously that like helped me balance and, and help me, you know, break even basically. But it's like, well, shoot. Come on, it's just raining. Let's let's flow. I gotta I gotta meet my sister. I gotta meet my sister. Please. It's an emergency. I mean, like, we're not even doing the speed limit anyways because it's raining, but, like, please. You guys might see, like, a variety of emotions come across my face because I am not comfortable driving in the rain because other people. Oh, of course, we're going to slow down. Slow down here. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. I just... Shoot. Oh, shoot. Um, other people don't leave proper stopping, safe stopping distances. Even though they've lived in Washington their whole life. Or if you've lived in Washington for more than a year, you know you need a safe stopping distance. Um, or people will then take my safe stopping distance as their spot in the lane instead of allowing me space and now traffic is slow and it's stressing me out because I'm trying to go help my sister but most of morning traffic should be gone already it's nine o'clock in the morning the morning commuter should be done This is stressing me out a little bit because my sister sent me a message that she left a voicemail <clears throat> that she's going to be about half an hour late due to childcare, which is great because at least now they know instead of, I mean, they're still going to be like, where's Judy when they open at nine, but she says she's not the only opener. Um, hopefully she let them know that, you know, her childcare fell through uh, and that I am on my way but it'll see that car oh my lord oh my lord do not cut the semi off please that's that semi safe stopping distance uh, please guys guys do not cut semi trucks off on the freeway okay you may see that big gap and think oh hot damn I can get over please do not especially in the rain they cannot stop like you think they can, you know? And this stressed me out well before uh, the boyfriend had to drive big trucks for work. Like he doesn't drive semi trucks, but he drives like big dump trucks and like spent trucks, I think. Just big, big trucks. I've seen his trucks. And he's had instances where people will cut him off and he has come so close to smooshing them because they're idiots. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have just enough time to get to my mother's. No, no, 
no. Oh, did you hear that? That was a rock hitting my windshield. Please don't break. Please don't crack my windshield. Because that's what I need right now financially. I mean, I can afford it. It's fine. But like, so here's the thing. For those of you dedicated fans who watch my paycheck to paycheck budgeting, I don't actually live paycheck to paycheck. I have money in savings. I have a checking cushion. I don't include any of that in my budget because I pretend the money does not exist. If I pretend the money does not exist, it's easier for me not to spend it. If I know it's there and I'm okay, it's much easier for me to justify spending the money. I'm trying really hard not to spend that money. Um, I'm trying really hard to stay on my budget. I'm trying really hard to stay on track. I'm trying really hard to focus on my debt-free journey. And that money is there just in case something absolutely happens. Um, just in case. Um, okay, doing good. We're doing good. I'm halfway, halfway to my mom's. Just about. footage off my phone, free up space on my phone again, oh come on oversized load, why didn't you stop at the way station? I'm going to go around this oversized load. Of course that truck's trying to get over, but you know what? Oh good, it is getting over so I don't feel bad doing this. It is. I'm sorry. We haven't got the way station yet. Okay. Um, and so I pretend it's not there. It is there in case something truly terrible happens. Um, because I am still on L and I. My shoulder's still not healed. Oh, I just. I'm almost to the exit, and traffic is stopping me. And I and I know why. It's because people are in this exit only lane and will stay in it and then jump over when they shouldn't be in this lane. Anyways, um, I'm, I'm halfway to where I gotta go and I'll see you guys later. Mailman strikes again. Like, while I don't mind that he can't deliver because the area is flooded, I get that. I, I spent... Because I already went to physical therapy today. And then I spent a good 15-20 minutes trying to make it better for him to drive on. Which made my arm more sore than it already was. But he marked a package attempted delivery at 7.51. I'm hoping that he accidentally marked it as attempted delivery. And, not, and that um, he meant to mark it out for delivery. Because the post office doesn't even open until 8. When I get there at 8 to pick up packages, I usually can get my mail before he's even left. Because he has been doing much better. Um, I think, uh, you know, if you watched a couple videos back, I talked to the supervisor and proved that my mail wasn't even getting on his truck. And lo and behold, after that little issue, I started getting packages properly. Um, oh, I kind of want that wood. So I had a scrap piece of siding or roofing. I'm not sure what it is. It's a little warped, but I figured with enough uh, mulch and stuff on it and people driving over it, it'll flatten it out a little bit because people take that corner too sharp. People are going to drive over it before the mailman does. Um, but it gives him a little bit of 
um, it's still going to sink a little, but he's not going to sink into mud. It's going to give him a little place for at least one of his tires to be able to uh, roll on. Uh, I'm trying to find different ways because like I'm not out to make his job more difficult. I'm really not. I just want him to do his job. I'm actually on my way to my massage. Thank God. Um, I'm not out to make his job more difficult. I would just like him to do it. So it's been especially rainy during the rainy season. Uh -huh. um, so I, I get it. He can't safely maneuver onto because it, 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 it's a big enough area that he can completely come off the road. But when it's flooded, it's just a lot of dirt. There's not a lot of rocks, not a lot of, you know, roughage ish, that stuff. So, um, he could get stuck. I don't want him to get stuck. If he gets stuck, he's not going to deliver my mail. Um, so even, even if it's raining, as long as it's raining lightly, I'll still go. And like I said, you know, I don't know if I said it, but like every day after mail is delivered, I'd go out and I'd rake it flat. So because him driving on it puts big divots in it and eventually his truck will get stuck because so much mud will be built up that he'll like high center on the mud because you know, mail trucks are small. Um, so I go out there every day and I rake it flat for him. When it stops raining and it dries out, I will be able to better work on that area. Um, I guess I don't know. I don't think I don't know if I'm explaining correctly, but either way, I try to make sure that my Tazo chai. I need to put the Tazo chai on the shopping list. I, you know, it's unfortunate that at Costco it's Oregon chai on in on in Costco because Oregon chai to me is just too sweet um, it's too sweet for me I need something that's a little a little less sweet let's just be just less, a little less sweet okay this is my second time going to my massage therapist so I gotta remember oh, there we go there's a sign gotta make sure I go to the right place and Kiddo has an appointment at three. So what I think I'll do, because I do want to get more Tazo tea, is I'll actually go to Target. Um, I'll actually go to Target and pick up some more Tazo tea before her appointment and walk around and maybe go check out Kohl's. Which way are you turning? Are you gonna come towards me? If you're going to come towards me, this person has name is her. Oh, she's going to hit the UPS truck. Don't hit the UPS truck. Oh my God, don't hit the UPS truck. <gasps> this Subaru came so close to backing into the UPS truck. You know, being polite goes a long way, you guys. Like, I didn't have to wait for her. But, you know, and, like, you know, because the UPS is walking her side of the road. But I did. Because I'd hate to be stuck. But, you know, she could have gave me, like, a little nod, a little acknowledgement. Whatever. I don't need it. I don't need nobody's acknowledgement. So, this week, school starts back up again. Um, so, I'm preparing to be crazy for at least three weeks because I'm usually crazy for at least three weeks before um, before I settle settle in. Um, but yeah, I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to continue my weekly vlogs or what I'm going to do with that. So... Number one airport candy.
Good morning. So we are on our way to kiddo's orthodontist appointment. I've got a chiropractic appointment. My dad is supposed to be coming over today to replace the roof on my porch. Um, because it, oh, I didn't even look. Oh, he should be able to drive on that today. Hopefully that board doesn't. I haven't got my mail delivered in a couple days. Um, because it's been raining so much, it is flooding that part of the road. But, it's only lightly sprinkling right now. Um, but, it looks like the groundwater, it's, it, it, the, all the water's finally soaked into the ground. I will double check that when I come back from chiropractic. Because my plan is, I mean, depending on how quick Alex's appointment, and un unfortunately, her appointments don't tend to last very long, but I made my appointment for my chiropractor at 1020, just in case. Um, her dad might need me to drop her off to school, which is fine. Um, after appointment, I'll go drop her off, and then I'll go to my chiropractor appointment. Then when I get back, hopefully it's not raining, and I'll double check that area. I had a lady, okay, so at first, I'm not gonna lie, at first, when the lady pulled into my driveway, I thought, one, she was turning around, which happens. Two, she wrote on a window and started talking to me. And then I got a little nervous. She's like, hi, I'm your, she didn't tell me her name. <laughs> hi, I'm your neighbor across the street. Not like across the street, but down 26. She goes, and I saw you scraping leaves and, and, and mud and mulch this morning. And I'm thinking, oh God, is she gonna like yell at me about this? Is she have a problem with this? She goes, you need to call the city and have them take care of that. You should not have to be doing that all the time. She goes, I see you out there all the time fixing that she's like you need to call the city and you need to she's like be nice but you need to call them all the time to get someone out there i was like yeah if i don't do this if i don't scrape it down if i don't fill it in my mail doesn't get delivered and she's like you need to tell him that too and she's like and you need to tell him you need when you call you need to tell him that the water is uh, is going into is flooding into your yard and, and it, it's damaging the road there was a, I wish I would have wrote down what she said. She's like, you need to use these words. It was like well, just one or two keywords. She's like, to get them out here to do something about it. She's like, it's 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 not fair for you to have to constantly be doing this. And I'm like, yeah. Again, if I don't do it, my mailman refuses to deliver my mail. And she's like, you need to tell them that too. That you're not getting your mail delivered because this, because of the flooding. Like, she's like, it's a serious issue. And she's like, and honestly, you shouldn't have to do it on your own. And, and I was like, thank you so much. Like, honestly, I wasn't expecting that. Because, like, literally, she was like, I see you. She goes, I saw you this morning. Scraping the leaves and the mud in this area. And I'm like, uh. And she's like, you, you shouldn't have to do it. I mean, I agree. I shouldn't have to do it. it. It's a pain. I semi understand the mail carrier because it does get so muddy right there that um, his, his little mail truck could get stuck. But I had one mail carrier that she was a temporary while they were finding a permanent replacement that was concerned about one, getting her truck muddy and two, concerned about um, getting her truck stuck and she would actually pull just ahead of that really like sketchy issue and then like get out and like, you know, walk the five or six steps depending on how far ahead of my mailbox she parked but this mail carrier doesn't want to get out of his vehicle. Which is why he won't put packages on my front porch. Which is why I had to create the mail, the package drop. Which is why I had to stress about my life for a minute.
doctor appointment coming up on the 30th. It is the 8th. I have an appointment coming up on the 30th. And it's a little stressful because my appointment coming up on the 30th is close to being six months since my surgery. Six to nine months is when the doctor, the surgeon said that they'll know whether or not. Well, they'll know how much. Um, my range of motion. That's what I'm looking for. How much of my range of motion I'm going to get back. And they said pretty much between six to nine months, whatever I get back, that's all I'm getting back. And I'm getting a little nervous. I'm trying to be positive. I'm getting slightly nervous. Slightly scared. Um, it, it, it's, it's nerve wracking to think, okay, well you may not have your full potential. But at the same time, it's important that you, that you know, you, you uh, I've adjusted. I've adjusted. I also got these. I was going to put on these. Yeah. They're too curved for my nails. My nails are more flat. So those are going to go back. You know, that's what I like about Amazon. It's because you buy something, it doesn't work out, you return it. You buy something, it doesn't work out, you return it. You buy something. And like, and I know a lot of store policies have... Um, good return policies, you know, you, you try it out, use it for, you know, like 30, my hair just, bloop. Uh, it, my hair's always done that where one side will be like in and beautiful on the other side. It's, it's like they just, it all just has to go one direction. They can't do this. Um, you know, you can have it up to 30 days and then if something happens or breaks or doesn't work out, you can return it. But like, I feel like they're, you know, and it's probably all in my head because I know when I worked retail I had no judgment on anyone when they returned something as long as they had a receipt and were within the turn window I didn't care and like when I do my Amazon returns at Kohl's you know just there's no judgment you know they're just like oh okay you know is it broken or not broken damaged or not damaged um so I appreciate that I, I like that you know and, and part of the fact that it's not their stuff they're just a, a carrier to transport the items and an easier drop-off location. Which is nice because like now, some of the other options like want to charge you. Like an arm and a leg. Like UPS pickup. That used to be free. You just had to print your own label. Now depending on the item, they want to charge you. I'll continue to drive to Kohl's. Um, and I like that there are free returns. Makes me happy. Makes it, it makes, it makes my life easier because I like shopping on Amazon. But sometimes I get an item and you know, you're not gonna like not everyone, you know, uh, puts pictures on it and not every, everyone does uh, Makes it nice Okay, it's frustrating to me. Okay, I'm gonna complain for a minute again so Why do my kiddos dentist slash orthodontist is the same company? But they moved, they split the locations between, um, orthodontist and their regular dental studio. They, they, they separated it. Even though the regular dental studio is still closed on Wednesdays because Wednesdays is orthodontist day down here. Um, but they have a separate studio to keep the stuff separately and, I mean... Space-wise, it makes sense because they can keep the orthodontic stuff here and it's where the, you know, the orthodontic dental hygienists know where all of that's at. I don't know if they have their own separate word, dental hygienist. And, it, you know, they're not having to lug it 
between the different locations, so great. But there's limited parking right up by the building, or you have to park around the corner behind that building. And so it's nice for customers and clients to be able to park close to the building. Well, I just watched a dental hygienist park in the parking close to the building. Whatever. And like, when I worked at Walgreens, we had a certain side of the building we were supposed to park on to allow our, our customers good, you know, the really good parking. Um, we were allowed to park up against the building as long as we were parked on the back side, like on the side side towards the back. So we still had technically had good parking, but it was farther back. It wasn't the against the building parking, like right up. But generally, us ladies would park in the cluster away from the really good parking so that our customers had the good parking. When I worked at the casino, there were certain floors we were not allowed to park on for the customers. I think we could start parking on level four. Four and above, we're allowed to park in the parking garage. You know, you just gotta let things go. Not my problem. Twenty twenty is gonna be a year of peace for me. Like that that was my word of the year. And like I don't know you know, I know in planner communities people pick a word and they don't really do a whole lot of resolutions, but they pick a word or a phrase. Because sometimes a word, just a word, is hard to do. So I picked the phrase peace. Peace in my personal life, peace in my planner life, peace in my school life, peace within my my own self and my body. And I'm going to work on that. You know, I was talking to my boyfriend last night, and I'm like, you know, are you ready for next week? And he was like, I'm always ready. I'm like, do you know what I'm talking about? He's like, no. And I said, school starts next week. You ready for the next three weeks? He goes, I'll do the same thing I do every first three, four, five weeks of your 10-week course. You freak out. You say you can't do it. You say you're too dumb. And I tell you, no, you got it. You're just struggling a little. You need to breathe. Take a break from it. You're fine. You know what you're doing. You've been doing this for long enough. And he goes, and then a week later, a week or two later, hey, I got an A on my paper. I got an E on my paper. I got an A on my project. And he goes, and, and all I'll say is, I know. I know you're going to do good. And he'll tell me, I don't understand why you don't have faith in yourself. And I'll tell him, I don't understand why you have faith in me. Um, and the first couple weeks, I'm not going to lie, you guys, I will legit, when I first start my first paper in my two classes, I will sit there and I will cry on the couch. Like, I can't do it. It's too hard. It's too hard. I can't do it. And then, like, I, I get it out of my system. Then I write my paper. Someone posted about they have a summer residency and they just, they booked their hotel now. I should probably start looking into booking my hotel for my May residency. Because I need to go. I have to go. I, I, you know, I will not have any sick leave to burn if I'm back at work by May. But I have to go. I don't have to burn a couple days. Um, yeah. So, that's today. So I am getting to physical therapy because once again I had to go to the post office and my, my note saying they're going to hold my mail. 
had to get at the post office, claiming that it's too muddy and his truck gets stuck. And this is the second notice. I had one week of great mail. I got last week, I got my mail every day. Every day. suggested gravel we're gonna have to do something I go out every day my neighbors see me out there every day packing the dirt Ooh, this is going to suck getting to physical therapy scanning my mail. This this didn't even show up in my scanned mail. Oh my gosh, that is a thick envelope. Wow. I was just expecting like one or two. Oh my gosh. Oh, she has a P.O. box. Okay, well, I don't, I don't. Okay, well, maybe I can turn it sideways. So, she spent a dollar to send this envelope. So I'm in this planner, I'm in the planner collaborative group. Uh, if you watch my planner videos, you know what group I'm talking about. And this gal was like, hey, does anyone want some snail mail? Like I have all of these, you know, leftover pieces from kits. And I messaged and said, I would love some snail mail. Like I am, I am um, buying stickers on a budget. I'm new to planning. And she's like, well, do you like Supernatural? And I'm like, oh, you know, I like it. Like, I don't watch a whole lot of shows, but I have seen some of them. You know? Um, because, you know, it's it's got my... It's got my Gilmore boy in it. And... Oh, you bitch. Excuse my language. <sighs> oh, are you kidding me? I literally need to get over at this light. Are you kidding me? This is the light that I need, son of a gun. I'm gonna have to, I'm probably gonna have to turn left at the light just to get over. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting through. You guys can't even see because of the way my camera is angled. I'm gonna have to turn left just so I can flip a Yui and go back to the light because my physical therapist is right there. Oh, that doesn't seem, that, that, okay. I'm like, that didn't seem safe. On. Yeah. I can see my physical therapist office. Anyways, um, I'm like, she packed. So I was expecting like one or two like pieces, but like, I cannot wait to open this up and like, I'm going to write her a huge thank you letter. Um, road closed ahead. My, the road is closed going back to my house? Are you kidding me? I, you know, I just came back from the post office. So, I mean, y'all know, y'all know. Oh, gosh. You know what? I'm just going to go around. I'm just gonna go around the long way home through the neighborhood. Go, 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 go. You're working, lady. There you go. The pharmacy tech in her scrubs is like waiting at the crosswalk. Like, I'm not driving until you go, lady. Like, I'm putting, for me, pedestrians first, okay? Pedestrians first. 
especially if they're at a crosswalk, okay? Like, if they step out in front of you, like, please stop. Don't, don't hit them. But, <laughs> like, um, I'm gonna write her a letter. I have her post office box. I'm gonna write her a letter. I'm gonna send her a thank you card. totally my brain is fried oh so there's another planner collaborative sale today and I purchased and I am proud to say um, excuse me but where are you going where where are you going this pickup truck literally just tried to pull into me not in front of me into me I'm gonna try to get back I'm gonna try to get back with y'all I get back with y'all because I am completely confused and I don't know what's happening and yeah excuse my messy hair you're also sitting on my different planners got my coffee ready oh good thing I got a saucer because apparently the bottom of my cup is on and I know British people they don't you pick up the saucers with the cup but not today I also got my toast. Because you know what today is? Today is early access into classes. Today is the day that I start acting crazy. Today is the day where like, I panic. And you know, the boyfriend, he's ready. He's got a speech in his pocket, ready to bring out and tell me that I'm just being ridiculous. And then I'm gonna be just fine, and I know <gasps> I got my God. Sorry, I got Dr. Brown again for both my classes. Um, honestly, not exactly a surprise to me, um, because he is the core instructor. New folder, EMG 7035, new folder, EMG 8050, those are my two new classes. So. Sorry, I got tears in my eyes because I touched the side of my nose and apparently, yeah, I touched that and that hurt. <clears throat> so it's time to get started. It's time to get my welcome um, intro in. It's time to get my faculty expectations in. It's time to start discussion board posts. Um, it's, it's time to start it all. Um, and... I'm excited, I'm scared. I always, I always have like my, I always start with my, my board post Word document. Oh, my hair looks kind of cute today. I always start with my Word document post where I, you know, write down the expectations for the class. For each discussion board post. Hmm. Faculty expectations are about the same, but you know, so yeah, 
like getting started doing the whole thing I'm I'm gonna try to not freak out which I mean <sighs> my introduction will be the same for both classes I always copy and paste the introduction um, So yeah, it's the start of the new term of the new school year. Well, not the new school year because the school year starts technically in September, but like the, the new year. Um, but it's like, okay, so Because I know the teacher, I know what to expect out of the classes. I know what he expects out of me for the classes. Um, oh, my fire, which is a good thing. Um, what are my two classes again? 70, 35. And 80, 15, I think. I think that's what I said. Yep. So, it's Friday. Let's get started. And I'm sorry. I'm going to be the same crazy mess that I always am. But if you are following, been following me for a while, you know this. Love you guys.